If it's a big, bold action blockbuster, what's the bet? It stars Bruce Willis. He is Hollywood's ultimate action man who has starred in over 60 films, probably most famously the Die Hard franchise. German-born but raised in New Jersey, aspiring actor Bruce was actually discovered by a producer when working in a New York bar. While he landed a few minor film appearances, it's a funny coincidence that after working briefly as a private investigator to pay the bills, he was cast as one. His breakout role in the TV series Moonlighting made him a hot new talent and his star rose quickly. He's an extraordinary actor as you would expect from someone who's been at the top for so long. It's never, that doesn't happen by chance. And uh, although he's done a lot of action films, what I most like about Bruce's work is the Bruce Willis from Moon Moonlighting. The, um, and a very, very sharp, funny guy. Um, and what I discovered, that unlike most very big stars, is that he's a totally unselfish actor. One of the best things about Bruce Willis is the fact that he doesn't take himself too seriously and he's not afraid to laugh at himself. At the end of the day, movies are just supposed to be entertaining. That's our job, is to entertain people. And that's certainly what he's done. From Moonlighting, he quickly landed his most famous role, John McClane in Die Hard, a part that had already been turned down by Stallone and Arnie. It was a massive success and the sequels followed. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing and he starred in some pretty big box office flops. However, thanks to taking chances on independent films like Pulp Fiction, 12 Monkeys and The Sixth Sense, Bruce has managed to keep us guessing and challenge himself creatively. Well, I learn how to act that from every film that I, that I do. I'm, I, I, I continue to learn. Um, you know, different things every time out, and, and uh, I think I learn more from the mistakes that I make than, than from the successes I've, I've had. Bet you his schoolmates are shocked by his mega success because when he was young, he actually suffered from a stutter, but he discovered that it disappeared when he performed on stage. So he joined drama club and acting classes. Bob's your uncle, he is one of the biggest paid stars in the world. And you know you're doing something right when Morgan Freeman pays you compliments. When he's acting, he's able to click on this instant super intensity. And that's what we like about him. You know, it just really doesn't matter what part he's playing. He, he still carries this sort of edge, this danger. This, you believe him when he kills people. I mean, you just believe <laughs> That's what he can do, you know? A great movie actor is the actor that can make you believe that you know what they're thinking without a single word of dialogue. It's about how they move. It's about really specific, nuanced things in their behavior. And I believe Bruce is at the absolute top of his profession in that regard. And I think he's one of the truly great cinematic actors of all time. You'd have to say that Bruce, as an actor, is comfortable with the title King of Action, but also one with the versatility to have a crack at comedy. It's, it's not hard to do comedy and, and it, because it's, it, it's harder to, to, to make jokes work and a lot more challenging and, and yet you get to laugh so much more, you know, and, and, and in between takes you got guys like Kevin Pollack and Matthew Perry just cracking you up all the time. How are you? It's a, it was started out as a serious movie. Comedy about halfway through. You rolling? I think it's been really neat being able to teach Bruce Willis, you know, acting techniques and styles. Because he kind of came to the set just not knowing what he was doing. He was like a little kid, and I just said, it's gonna be okay. Just when they say action, you start, and when you they say cut, you stop. And he had never learned that. Yeah, how to hit your marks and you have to, what he didn't understand was that you, you have to ignore, when acting, you have to ignore the camera. He didn't get that, so I showed him, and I think it worked out rather well. So good luck, Bruce. I mean, he is, like, he just exudes, like, stardom. So for me, it was, like, really easy to, to like, blush whenever he, like, looked at me. <laughs> and it seems he's had that effect on many women. Most famously, Demi Moore, who was dating actor Emilio Estevez when they met. 
He whisked her off her feet and they were married in 1987, becoming one of Hollywood's hottest and most powerful couples. But after 13 years, they divorced, giving no public reason for their breakup. The pair now happily share custody of their daughters and are still very close friends. So much so that Bruce was there when Demi became the Queen of Cougars, marrying Ashton Kutcher, 15 years her junior. Then they attended Bruce's wedding in March 2009 to his girlfriend of one year, Emma Hemming. Talk about one big happy family, an amazing father and the undisputed king of action. And then he's at it again in the surrogates. I think this is the 10th time, Paul? 10th time I saved? 10th time I saved the world? 10th or 11th time I saved the world. For casting the lead of this movie, which is Bruce's role, uh, I was looking for a few things. First of all, I was looking for a movie star uh, who's a great actor, so that now already you have a very short list of people. And then I said, you know, I want something, somebody who's gonna take this premise, which is a larger than life premise, and make it really believable, emotional, relatable, give the audience the human connection. And for me, Bruce's name shot to the top of that list. You know, what's great about him is he's, he's, he's really funny and he's really smart and he really is, you know, he's a lot like the characters that he plays. And he's the perfect kind of um, lead for this kind of film because, you know, he always does these amazing performances in action films because I think he, he understands macho, but he also understands how to kind of take the piss out of it. And I think that's what's appealing about him. Uh, Bruce Willis has become my hero. I, I, I like Bruce very much. He's, uh, um, when I first met him, I, I couldn't help but call Bruce Sir. I mean, tw 25 years of his body of work, you know, it just purely out of respect. Uh, you know, he was, I, I guess, Sir, Sir Bruce to me. And uh, one day he, he finally pulled the plug on that operation and said, uh, all right, that, that, that's the last time you call me Sir. Uh, oh, 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 okay, Bruce? <laughs> Bruce is one of the biggest movie stars in the world. He's so iconic. And I'm making a movie with him. It, it doesn't suck to be me right now. <laughs> I mean, I only have a couple of scenes with the guy, but if you tell someone I'm making a Bruce Willis movie, they go, oh, you're in a big movie. <laughs> Before I even started my acting career, I remember, I can't, I remember being nine or 10 watching the first Die Hard becoming a fan of John McCain, and then, what, four or five years later, I remember now I'm doing scenes with him in a film? I mean, it's huge. You can imagine that. It's such a huge accomplishment in my life. From the beginning, it was overwhelming, because there is a reason that he is the star that he is, and there is a reason that he, com he has such a commanding presence. It's refreshing to see a mega star without the mega ego. He's not afraid to laugh at himself, Bruce Willis, even about his famously bald head. He refers to his hair loss as God's way of reminding him that he's human. One of the strange things that I've uh, been told and found out while, uh, while doing press for this film is that there's a big audience out there that likes seeing me, an old guy, 62 years old, out there uh, looking like a real young guy. You know, smooth skin, smooth face, blonde hair, etc. Instead of that raggedy guy in that, look at that. See, that's me right there. That's me on Saturday morning. More recently, the sprightly Bruce reunited with a slew of action stars, including Arnold Schwarzenegger, in the film directed by Sylvester Stallone called The Expendables. When I stood with these guys, I totally got it why they're stars. You know what I mean? You get it. You can feel the wattage. That's no bull. It's true. There is a, there's a definite heat that comes off of special people. And I'm looking at Bruce and go, you know, I, you know what? I gotta do a few more of these dudes, I really do. Then there's the DC comic book inspired action comedy, Red, retired and extremely dangerous. Bruce Willis was the first to sign on and as a result, a top notch A-list cast followed. Even the Oscar winning Helen Mirren was chuffed to star alongside Bruce. I mean, once I got over my, my sort of schoolgirlish kind of excitement, um, and, and I could just work as, a, as an actor. Um, it was great. Even though Bruce is a pro when it comes to stunts, Red pushed him to the limit. Carl Urban and I went at, uh, went at one of the toughest fights I've ever fought in my life, and contact was made. It was the most fun that I've had in years was uh, having the opportunity to uh, throw Mr. Bruce Willis across the room and watch him smash into uh, the furniture. <laughs> 
Bruce Willis is a true Hollywood A-lister. Sure, he's never won an Academy Award, but in movies, money talks. And his have taken in in excess of two billion at the box office. Now, about a decade ago, he said he was never gonna do another action blockbuster. Obviously, he couldn't resist, and I think audiences are all the better for it. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.